friends, happy Tuesday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. As you can tell by today's title, I have a haul to share with y'all from Kroger and Trader Joe's. If you remember last week, I said I was just going to go to Trader Joe's this week, or at least try, um, because I needed to go there and, well, I wanted to go there after the kids eye doctor appointment because that's usually when we go. So we did go to Trader Joe's but then I also found out that Kroger was having some sales this week, some pretty good ones. So I ended up going to Kroger and I kind of needed to go there anyway because Trader Joe's didn't have the milk I wanted um, and they just didn't have the right prices on things like produce and stuff. So I went to Trader Joe's so I'm going to share that with you. I spent like hundred dollars just over a hundred and then I went to Kroger today and also spent over a hundred dollars so we're over budget it is what it is um, but a lot of what I got today at Kroger will last me a while um, it's like snacky stuff also like cheese and stuff that I'll use for recipes in upcoming weeks so it's all gonna even out We'll make it work next week's haul from aldi will probably be on the smaller side maybe my sister is going to be in town so i'm going to be cooking dinner for more people so it might be a little bit but then the next week might be lower we'll see it let's go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we'll get into the haul Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. We've got chicken thighs with uh, cheesy broccoli rice, orange chicken and fried rice, wings for the Super Bowl, meatball pot roast, BLTs, creamy broccoli chicken and rice, which is different than than this up here. This this is different. This is a uh, Mr. Glass's favorite dinner, as I've called it before. Um, it has cottage cheese in it and spinach and stuff, and it's very good. And then we're gonna do lasagna for Valentine's Day. Okay, here is everything that I got from Trader Joe's today. We got Elijah helping us point. So we're going to start over here. We've got Lily's favorite pasta, the Raditore of many colors. We got two of them because last time they didn't have any, so it's been a while since we had it. We got this Everything But the Bagel Nut Duo with Almonds and Cashews. It's been a really long time since I've seen the Everything Cashews at Sam's Club. And so this is probably going to be like that, but also with almonds. Um, it's a much better deal if you can find the thing at Sam's Club to get just get cashews. But me and Elijah wanted to try this, so we got it. We got some apple chip duos. Two things of salsa, one just red and one salsa verde. Pita chips, because we had these before and we really liked them. This is a new thing to try. They are Trader Joe's Snacky Clusters. It has sea salt potato chips, corn chip dippers, and mini pretzel nuggets mixed in milk chocolate. I love sweet and salty, so I think I'm really going to like this. So, got that. We did get some of the corn chip dippers. We like those. Um, we had the elote ones, too. They're... Okay, I know the kids won't like them. They didn't even try them. They are very spicy. So if you like spicy and you like elote, um, I would say give them a shot because they're pretty good, but they are very spicy. We got this pasta. We love this too. Elijah told me that we still have one, so I just picked up another one to have on hand. The Fusilli Corti Bugatti pasta. They're like little cute curly cue. So we got that. More of the crunchy chili onion stuff because I love this stuff and I am completely out and I love to use it on eggs, avocado toast, lots of things. We got a loaf of sourdough. We love Trader Joe's sourdough. Some spices. We needed smoked paprika and our favorite onion salt. This is new to me, the giant baked beans and tomato sauce. I saw somebody talking about this on TikTok. And she like mixes it with feta cheese, which I probably should have gotten some of that, but I'll do that later. I think this is like $1.99 for the can or $1.49 or something. I don't know. It sounded really good. Cooked cannellini beans and tomato sauce with Mediterranean herbs and spices. So we're going to give those a shot. The kids each got to pick a sweet treat. They had an eye doctor appointment and they got their eyes dilated, which is a pain. So they each got to pick a sweet treat. Elijah picked Brookie's. Fudge brownie batter topped with chocolate chip cookie batter. Baked together. 
delicious. Although we've never had it from Trader Joe's, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. We got some mini chicken tacos to try. We haven't had these before. Those will be a nice, quick, and easy lunch. Butter chicken we had last time. Lily and Elijah split it. Elijah didn't love it because it was too spicy for him, but Lily loved it. So this is actually going to be her lunch today. And then I got the steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings and then also the steamed chicken soup dumplings. I've had the chicken ones before, loved them, so I got the pork ones to try. Um, the pork ones are probably going to be my lunch today. Then Lily picked the French macarons, the lusciously French, very chocolate and very vanilla macarons. That was her sweet treat for the day. Some pork yoiza pot stickers. We love those. More of the crushed ginger and crushed garlic. Just a great thing to have in the freezer for when I don't feel like mincing it up myself. Some carrots, celery, romaine lettuce, mini cucumbers. We got some pizza dough. We got a plain one and then the garlic and herb one. I'm probably going to turn this into like garlic bread. And then we've had this before. Their spinach dip. Sour cream spinach chip. I'm going to eat this with the pita chips. We like this better than the Aldi one. So got one of those. Got some hash browns. And then we got three bags of orange chicken. This will be two dinners. We do like a bag and a half when we make it. And that is probably what we're going to have for dinner tonight. That is it from Trader Joe's today. Okay, here is everything that we got at Kroger today. So we'll start over here with the fresh produce. We got some cilantro. Trader Joe's just like didn't have any, so I got that. Radishes, much better price at Kroger. Many sweet peppers, again, Trader Joe's didn't have any. Bananas, much better price at Kroger. Pink Lady Apples, Trader Joe's didn't have any. So then we also got pears at Kroger. And then Sumo Citrus. I have never tried these, but people always talk about how good they are, so I got two for me to try. I got two dozen eggs. Didn't like the price on the Met Trader Joe's. We got some seafood snackers because we like those for snacking. Hot buckets for Andy. These are usually like his late night snack. Um, so I got him two pepperoni pizza and two of the ham and cheddar. And then the cheese, the Kraft cheese was on sale. It was one of those buy five, uh, save five, I think is what it is. Um, so these ended up being... $1.99 each which was cheaper than the store brand so I ended up buying five of these and then I got some other things that are part of it as well but I got two sharp cheddar two Mexican and a mozzarella and you know we can eat some cheese and cheese lasts a while so that was a good deal the Mio Energy Andy like drinks this instead of like coffee on days when he works he drinks the Mio Energy sometimes he'll drink energy drinks sometimes he'll drink this because um, this is much cheaper than buying an energy drink all the time. You just add it to water. And that's his favorite flavor. They were $2.50 as part of that buy five sale. So good deal. The goldfish was uh, like a sale for the week. I think if you're watching this video on Tuesday when I put it up, today's the last day of the sale. Um, these ended up being, I think, $4.99 if I remember correctly. It's either $4.99 or $5.99 can't be sure but we got the flavor blasted extra cheddar goldfish the Cheez-Its were like 4.49 with the sale we love Cheez-Its the Yogi tea I think was 2.49 or 2.99 and I decided to try this vanilla spice perfect energy energizes and supports focus so it is a caffeinated tea I've got some already like caffeine free teas and I wanted another one like another flavor of caffeinated tea and then we got some broccoli because we missed a bag last week at Aldi. So I need another one for some recipes. Cheese and garlic croutons. And then the chips were one of the main sales that I went for. The chips were buy two, get three free. So I think I paid $11 for five bags of chips because I think the Doritos were $5.49 each. So I paid for two of them, got everything else for free. So $11 and we got... Salsa Verde, which is Andy's favorite Doritos. The Spicy Sweet Chili, which is Lily's favorite Doritos. Nacho Cheese, which are Elijah's favorite Doritos, and probably mine as well. Um, I like Ranch too, but we decided to just get those three flavors of Doritos. And then we got some Lay's, Cheddar Sour Cream, and the Wavy Funyun Onion. 
the name of this is funny. Lay's Wavy Funyuns Onion Flavored Potato Chips. It's a long name, but the kids really like those. I really like these, so lots of chips for a while. Chips will last a long time. We got some orange juice, and why is orange juice so expensive if it's never not from concentrate? My goodness, this was $4 a bottle, which it's not that expensive for the not from concentrate from Aldi. It's like two something at Aldi. So having to pay $4 for orange juice was, was hard, but we love our orange juice. I got two of those. I didn't get any lemonade this week. Uh, I will just probably make some country time pink lemonade because I have got like the powder to make that so we'll probably just be drinking that this week or m mostly it's Andy but we've got other things to drink as well then we've got two things of the fair life milk two percent everybody's drinking that now pretty much as long as we can find it and then I wanted to see if they had any of the pink Ming girls creamer but you know it's limited edition couldn't find any more and this was part of one of those sales, like I think the buy five, save five. So I got the Duncan Extra Extra. I don't think I've ever had this before. So I decided to give it a try. And then the other sale that we went to Kroger for was the soda sale. These were also buy two, get three free. So you pay for two of them, you get the other three free. But what I will say is I know soda has gotten really expensive. I don't think it's gotten correct me if I'm wrong, $10 for a 12 pack expensive. Has it guys? I thought it was like $7 for a 12 pack. So I was thinking it was gonna be like, I don't know, like $14 for two, and then you'd get the other three free. No, they were $9.99 each. So $10 for two, and you get the other three free. So 20 for, or five of them for 20, so $4 each that's still pretty pricey that's like I don't know that's like normal price pre-covid right like four dollars each so it wasn't really that great of a deal I don't feel like but it still was a deal so I did do it we've got family coming over um so I usually like to buy soda for that we do like soda every now and then so I got a cherry coke zero sugar two of the coke zero just regular coke zero a dr pepper zero and a sprite zero and if they don't like zero sugar too bad because that's what i like <laughs> so that is what we got um but yeah i was just a little shocked i feel like they raised the price to 9.99 just so they could get a good they could still make their money when people buy five of them that's that's what i'm thinking but yeah, that is everything from Kroger today, and that is going to be it for today's grocery haul. Uh, let me know uh, down below how much a like 12 pack usually costs if you regularly buy soda, because I think that that is expensive, but still a good deal. <laughs> but that is going to be it. I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.